Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to my Mata tutorial. Today I'm going to show you a quick and simple way of making steel. Let's get started. Now, steel is used in a lot of recipes from a number of mods, including railcraft, solar expansion, immersive engineering, and industrial craft, and I might be forgetting a few. And a number of those mods have massive multi-block structures for crafting steel out of processes that happen to mimic real life. But what we're going to do is we're going to be using the ore dictionary equivalency that's built into Forge. We're going to be turning something from thermal expansion into steel. By the time you're starting to use steel, you're probably late early game or early mid game. And so you should have one of these contraptions already set up in your base. And if you don't know what this is, this is a Tinker's Construct Smelter. If you're not sure how to build one, you don't have one, you should see a card show up on screen right about now for a tutorial for a basic smeltery. So you want to get one of those started. And by this point, you should also have been dealing with a number of mobs. And usually they have started dropping armor by now. So get yourself some chain armor that's fully repaired up. Just get one piece. We're just going to grab this helmet. And we're going to chuck that into our smelter and we're going to let that smelt up while we build the rest of the machine. Now I said we're going to be using ore dictionary equivalency and one of the things built into thermal expansion is an induction smelter. You can see the recipe right here. It's pretty simple. The, the only things that might be problematic are are the, the gears, the redstone reception coil, and the basic machine frame. But let me grab the induction smelter real quick and we'll take a look at the other recipes in turn. So here's the reception coil, fairly simple, just some redstone and gold. And then the gear, invar, you're gonna need two of those. And how to make invar, you can either smelt uh, two iron ingots and ferrous ingot together in an induction smelter. If you don't have one of those already, that's fine. Or you can mix uh, craft together some pulverized iron and pulverized ferrous metal and get the invar blend and you can smelt that up in a furnace we're just going to put this back on right there for the machine frame we're just going to go with the basic one for now it takes a tin gear some iron and some glass the tin gear is kind of like the invar gear it's just tin around iron instead of invar around iron so there you go additionally we're going to need a compacting drawer and so you can see the recipe here. Most of this stuff you're familiar with, if you're already familiar with uh, vanilla, the only difference here is the oak drawer. Let me grab the compacting drawer real quick and let's take a look at the, the oak drawer recipe. Pretty simple, okay? And then we're also going to need a key and these right here, gold ingots and a gold nugget, not too bad. And then the upgrade template Let's take a look at that recipe as well so you know what's going on there. Again, you'll need another oak drawer surrounded by some sticks, and there you go. The reason we're going to have the key you'll see in just a moment, but this is going to be pretty simple. We're going to be making what's called refined iron. Okay, so let's take our induction smelter, put that right there, and then we'll put the compacting drawer right beside it, and let's go into the induction smelter just to do a little bit of configuration. It looks like we're pretty good here. Notice that the red is right here on the output, and yellow is also an output, and then blue is the input. The blue doesn't matter so much, the yellow doesn't matter so much. We're more interested in what's called the primary output, and we want that in its own separate thing. So we're going to leave that as is, and we want to make sure that the red is going to go off to the side. So let's just turn those off right there and right there. We're going to make sure that the primary output is off to this side going into the compacting drawer. Now you're wondering what's going on with the compacting drawer. Well, that's where we come into here. Let's take a look at what we've got. We've got some molten steel, we've got one ingot, and then we can craft an ingot out of that right click so we've got our steel ingot and this just happens to be from tinker's construct and we're going to right click into the compacting drawer and there we go so this one is already set up for steel we're going to right click with the 
key. And what that's going to do is lock the recipe into the compacting drawer so that whenever we do make some refined iron and we happen to take all of the steel out, well, uh, we're not going to lose the recipe so we don't have to go back through and craft some more of the regular steel. All right, now that we've got our setup here, what we're going to have to do is get some sort of power generation. And uh, originally I was going to go for a solar generator. Those are not going to work so well for this demonstration purpose here because solar generators only transmit energy at nighttime and I don't want to go into nighttime here. So we're going to use a furnace generator and we're going to throw some coal into there. And so what we should see is RF going up in our induction smelter and then we can take a pulverized iron ingot and then a couple of pieces of coal and what's going to happen here is the induction smelter is going to smelt the iron ingot with the coal and create a refined iron ingot and it's taking its sweet time that's because we don't have any extra augments here to make this thing go faster and that's where using a one of the higher tier induction smelters might be better. So let's see. All right. We did have the one steel ingot in our compacting drawer and we can take a look at the whaler right now. We see that we've got two steel ingots. Let's just go ahead and throw the rest of these in here. And we'll let that go. Maybe it goes a little bit faster with higher RF, but it's going pretty well now. And we can take a look. And there we go. So we've got steel ingots coming in here and then you can just come along and there we go. We've got our three steel ingots out and zero inside the compacting drawer, but we can go ahead and put those back in. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen, that's how to simply and easily make steel. Uh, you, you know, for the most part, you should have iron and coal coming in from your quarrying or mining. So. This is a lot easier, I think, than setting up one of the multi-block structures from the various mods that require steel, and it gets you on the path to making some, some higher tier items, including the solar expansion uh, solar panels. So anyway, that's it for now. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, a like is always appreciated. If there are any tutorials that you would like to see, feel free to let me know in the comment section down below. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.